Hi guys, my name is Sam and welcome to another episode of Instant Film Adventures and this is a series where I bring you along my journey as I connect with people, places, and experiences through the fun of instant photography. <laughs> So today we're doing something a little different where I am actually going outside into the world and photographing like different things and today we are going to go to the deserted village of Feltville and this place is located in the Wachung Reservations over in New Jersey and let me tell you, there's a bunch of stories and urban legends tied to the Wachong Reservation area. I thought it would be really fun to go there and kind of capture that super creepy, super spooky vibe since, hey, October is coming up in a little bit and that is my favorite month. So, let's get to it. So the area itself is approximately 284 years old. So something that old must be very creepy, right? This area actually changed hands multiple times and so many businesses have failed. And one can only speculate that it is tied to a curse brought on by a witch. Yes, you heard me, a witch. The area itself was first owned by Peter Wilcox. I mean, well, Native Americans were there first, but on paper, Peter Wilcox owned the area in 1736. So he created a sawmill business, which is, if you actually look, a great place to have a sawmill business. There's so many trees. Wilcox family owned the area for about the next 100 years, and their little cemetery is actually on the premises still, which is really cool. By 1844, David Felt, aka King David, aka owner of Feltville, decided to buy the area from the Wilcox family. He was expanding his stationary paper business. He decided to do it over in New Jersey. So he built the homes on the property that we actually see today in order to accommodate his workforce so he can trap them there and control their every movement. Okay, but actually it was really hard to get there. <laughs> There's a lot of like strange stories and urban legends associated to the Watchung Reservation area and Feltville is also included in that. Legend has it, over the course of a few years after Feltville was established, very mysterious things started to happen around the village or the town, and the children of Feltville started to disappear. And in some versions of the story, it's they disappeared, never to be seen again. Or they disappeared and their bodies would eventually be found mutilated, very dead, on the outskirts of Feltville. And eventually, neighbors started to accuse each other. The accusations landed on a group of 13 sisters. And what most sensible people at this time would say, they must be sacrificing our children for their crops. After a trial, of course, by popular vote, they were found guilty and then they were hanged for their alleged crimes. Before the last sister was killed, she pretty much declared, Hey, Feldville, you're cursed forever. As very strangely morbid people of this time, they decided to bury the 13 sisters on a stretch of road, which is actually now called Johnston Drive. It is said that when you drive on this road, you will actually be able to feel 13 bumps, one for each witch that has been buried. The most interesting part of this story is no matter how many times the town paves over this road, the bumps always come back. <laughs> Feltville also has another ghost story. Again, I'm not too sure if this is real, but it's interesting nonetheless. It is said that the ghost of three sisters still haunt one of the homes in Feltville. They apparently went missing while they were camping in the woods, and nobody could find any trace of them other than their bonnets. Where would they go without their bonnets? And since their disappearance, locals actually started moving away from the town. And makes sense because this was near the end of the decline of the deserted village. I'm not sure which house it is, so I wish I could give you that. But it is said it's one of the houses near the end of the town. So whether or not the deserted village is actually haunted or cursed is up for grabs. I still think the stories associated to the area and the urban legends 
are super fascinating. I definitely still need to play around with my camera more because these photos came out way darker than I want them to and I messed up the settings in the beginning but I did get some nice photos out of it. I hope you enjoyed the creepy stories and just a small tidbit of history of Feldville. I thought it was super interesting and I hope you did too. So I'm thinking like should I do more of these? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. I think I might. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys!